Hello, guys. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? How was your weekend? Hello. 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 All good? Good night. Hello, hello. Todo bien, yes? Good weekend o muy, cor muy cortito? Great weekend. Muy cortito, right? Pero ya casi tenemos vacaciones, so don't worry. Okay, so now guys, here we go. We have to yeah. start. We have a lot to do. So now we go here and we go to this lesson number oh, yeah. 5.3. The what time is it? Pero como ya pasaron muchos días, right? Vamos a volver a ver el telling the time. Por si ya se nos había olvidado. Okay, so now we have this one. So, decíamos, usamos la palabra after, cuando hablamos de, ¿qué es after? Después. Después de la hora. Después, right? Y before? Antes de la hora. Mm -hmm. Y o'clock? En punto. Okay, good. Now, let's see. When we have a quarter, ¿a qué me refiero con a quarter? Quince minutos. Un cuarto. El cuarto, right? Quince minutos. And then, if I say half, si digo half, ¿a qué me refiero? Media. Ah, okay. And then, let me see. And then, if I have, for example, this one. Si tengo past, it's five past. ¿Qué significa en español? It's cinco five past. Pasadas. Pasadas, pasadas la hora. Pasadas. Pasadas, sí. Okay. Y si digo, it's five to? Cinco para la. Cinco para la. Cinco para. Si digo, it's quarter to? Un cuarto para la. Un cuarto para la. Para, right. Okay, awesome. So now here we are going to practice with the time. So now, let me. Nine o'clock. Okay, this Nine one. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Let me see. Quiero ver. Sí, lo escucho. The... Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. otra vez, right? Okay. Y luego, ¿qué pasa si ya tengo? Es ahora. Ya digo. ¿Y cuál es la palabra que utilizo? ¿Tú o past? Past. Past. Son cinco. Cinco pasadas las. Pasadas las. Las once. It's past eleven. It's. Y siempre tengo que pronunciar el it. It's five. It's five past eleven. Five past eleven. All right, now let's see the next one. Si tengo este. It's five past twelve. It's five past twelve. Five past twelve. This one. It's five past one. Five past one. Five past one. It's five past two. Y voy así sucesivamente. Five, five, past five, five, past past three. Three. Esta? It's five, 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 past four. Five, four. Uh -huh. It's five, past four. Five, past four. Five, past four. Five, past 
It's five plus six. It's five plus six. It's five plus seven. It's five plus seven. It's five plus eight. It's five plus eight. Y así funciona igual que sea ten, right? It's ten plus eight. Ten plus eight. Eight. It's ten plus nine. Ten plus nine. It's ten plus ten. Y si le aumento otro cinco. It's quarter it's past ten. Quarter past ten. It's quarter past eleven. It's quarter past eleven. It's a quarter past twelve. It's quarter past twelve. It's quarter past one. It's quarter past one. This one. It's quarter past two. Y así voy a ir aumentando. Después con Twenty, twenty, baby. Twenty, 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 It's two. Mm, no, it's mm, fifteen yes. plus two. O sea, o, o ah. como fuera. Yeah, like that. Si sí. lo si lo regreso la música. Oh my. Así era la cosa. Ajá. Ajá. It's it's quarter. Fifteen. O fifteen. Ajá. Ajá. 15 past 2. Uh -huh, exactly. Oh, okay. Puedo decir o 15 o quarter. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Cualquiera de las dos. Pero por lo menos en horas sí se utiliza más quarter, más que 15. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. But yeah, it's good. All right, good question. And now, in the case of, okay, aquí voy con quarter past 3, quarter past 4. Okay. Yeah, see, right? Luego, ya está mí. Pero verdad que si no me equivoco también podemos decir after. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Podemos decir past, past o after. After, after. Mm -hmm. ok. Yes, cualquiera Gracias. de las dos. Yes, good. And now let me see. Quiero ver aquí cómo se... Ah, aquí está. Va. Luego, ¿qué pasa, por ejemplo, con estas que están acá? Ok, aquí tenemos ya. Ya cambió, right? Aquí, ¿qué tenemos? It's 20. 22. Two. Twenty to seven. Twenty to seven. Eight 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 to seven Now it's five to it's five to seven. Five to five to seven. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Y así me paso cinco sería. It's five 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 seven. Five past seven. After seven. Entonces depende de dónde está la la agujita, right? Ah, si tengo para, ya cuando me acerco después del out, ah, ya tengo el to. Mm -hmm. Si aquí fuera, por ejemplo, vaya, tenemos al revés de la cosa. Vaya. Ajá, aquí como tenemos, es 10. It's 10 to 8. 10 to 8. Son 10 para las 8. Para las 8. Y si fueran las ocho y diez, ¿cómo sería? It's, it's the past eight. Ah, ahí ya yeah. utilizo el past, right? O el after, cualquiera de los dos. Igual que el to. En vez del to, podría tener aquí before. before. Por ejemplo, five before eight. Ten before eight. Quarter before eight. Mm -hmm. Y si tengo las y media, ¿qué dicen? 
half past eight. Half past eight. Half past seven. seven. Mm -hmm. All right. Entonces, básicamente eso es lo que voy haciendo. Solo jugando con los números. Y depende de la ubicación. Si se fijan acá, tenemos con el half. Uh -huh. Todos son half, right? It's half past. It's six. half past six. Luego. Mm. It's half past seven. It's half past eight. It's half past nine. It's half past nine. It's half past ten. It's half past eleven. Half past half past it's half past ten. It's half past eleven. Acá básicamente jugamos con primero minutos y después la hora, right? Half past eleven. Luego si tuviera 25. ¿no? 25, primero los minutos y después la hora, right? 25 past. It's 25 11. Si lo voy aumentando. It's 25 past. It's 25 past 12. Luego. It's 25 past 1. It's 25 past 2. It's 25, 25 past 3. Y así sucesivamente. ¿Sienten que hay alguna que les genera confusión o duda? Entre el half, el quarter. Uh -huh. No puede. No. All good. Ok, let's practice then. All right. So now, vamos a practicar aquí. Ok, vamos a tener acá this one. Sí. Okay. So now, what is the time? It's ten what time past is nine. it? It's ten, ten past nine. nine. Ten Good. Past nine. Now this one. one. Ten. Ten. It's, ten. Past. it's a quarter past, past ten. ten. Past okay. ten. Quarter past ten. ten. Good. Now this one. It's 25, 25 past, past 10. 10. Past 10. Let's check. Awesome. Now let's see. This one. It's, um, it's 7. Four, no. It's 10. 7. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. Ten. 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 It's, it's 25. 25. It's 25. It's 25. No, it's 25. 22. 22. 22. 11. 22. 11. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Solo, solo, por, solo para hacer una, una encuesta. ¿Quiénes usan reloj de, de agujitas? De los que están acá. Raise your hands. Allá. <laughs> Vamos a ver, ya nadie lo ocupa. Okay. Sí. Only one. Sí. Ah, two. Okay. All right. Okay. Ahora ya creo que ya no es muy común, right? Ahora... Es más fácil si lo tenemos así, solo... right? <laughs> Ahora es casi okay. solo con el cell phone. Ya, yeah, I know. Y en el cell phone tampoco lo tenemos con las agujitas. Sino tampoco. Que... <laughs> so, all right. So now, this one. Uh -huh. Si tengo esta. What time is it? Eight. Eight. Ten. 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 Twenty-five past two. Twelve. Twelve. Puedo decir twenty-five past two twelve? No. No. Ah, be careful, okay? Solo digo past two. Twenty-five past 
25 past 12. Okay, 25 past 12. 25. Now let's see. This one? It's, it's, it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, now let's see this one. What time is it? It is ten past one. It's ten past one. It's ten past one. one. Okay, good. Alguien tiene dudas sobre alguno de estos? Sobre el to y el after o el past? No. Okay. En esa, en esa, en esa podemos podemos decir it's quarrel quarrel after one. Quarter, ah, okay. sure. Look, quarter, quarter past one or after one? Quarter past, past one. Past or after is good. Cualquiera de las dos. Yes. Good. So now, let's see. Vamos a ir one by one. Okay. So now, let's see. This. Okay. So now, what time is it, Henry? It's quarter Past. No, it's quarter two, 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 three. Okay. Awesome, let's see. Quarter two, right? Cuando ya nos pasamos del seis, ya vamos de regreso. Ya hacemos el two. Okay, good. Now, let's see, Juan Carlos. What time is it, Juan Carlos? It's, it's uh, five before six. Okay, good. What well, did say before or two? So, good. Now, let's see, Daniela. Let's see, Daniela. What time is it? I know. <laughs> Give me one sec. <laughs> Seven. All right. So now, what time is it? It's I no say. <laughs> no. Yes, you know. Uh, I don't know. Past seven. Past twenty. Uh -huh. Twenty-two to seven. This one. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Daniela? 25. Come on, you can do it. Primero, ¿qué decimos, Daniela? ¿La hora o los minutos? Cuando decimos la hora, es la... 25. One, right? To 7. Uh -huh. ah, primero decimos los minutos y después... La hora, right? Entonces, It's en este 25. caso sería 25. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Y ahí tenemos algo más. Cuando nosotros usamos el to y el past, tenemos que imaginarnos esa línea. Bueno, la línea imaginaria, right? Del lado derecho, ¿qué voy a utilizar, guys? To o past? Past. Cuando ya va de regreso, two. Two. no, aquí sería o pasto. ¿Cuál es la otra? After. 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 Y del otro lado, two, two. o before. O before. Ok, entonces en este caso, ¿cómo digo la hora? ¿Mm? 25 to 25 to oh, past. Past. Ese to o ese past va a depender de lo que yo tenga en los minutos, de dónde está ubicado el minuto. Entonces, si los minutos los tengo aquí, porque estas son las horas, right? Entonces, si aquí tengo los minutos, voy a utilizar. El after o el past o el to o el before. 
Pass after. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿cómo digo? 25 after, after o past? Seven. Yeah. Good. Y si se fija, yeah. ahí está tal cual. Look, aquí tenemos 25, que son los minutos, right? Y luego tenemos el past. Oh. Y luego la hora. Hmm? Okay. Good. Now, let's see. Vamos a ver, Noemi Beatriz. What time is it? Vamos a ver. What time is it? Uh -huh. It's uh, it's twenty before eleven. Okay, good. In this case, before or two, right? Twenty two, eleven or twenty before eleven. Good job. Now let's go, Urania. Let's see, what time is it? It's, uh -huh. it's five to one. Good. It's five to one. Good job. And now let's see, what time is it? Mirna Selena? What time is it? It's, 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 it's 20. It's 20. Two, two, two. Sería. Sería tú. Past. Ah, ¿Cuáles tengo aquí? Yeah. Aquí está mi, mi minuto. ¿Es tú uh -huh. o es past? Twenty two. Tú. Past. Aquí tengo el two. Mm -hmm. O el past. ¿Tengo el to o tengo el past? Past. Past. Ah, entonces, ¿qué hora sería, Mirna? It's 20. 20. 20. 20. Past. 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 Okay. Past one. All right, good. It's 22, past 20. one. 22. Uh -huh. Y solo 20. <laughs> 20. Miren, esto visual, visualícenlo como esa línea imaginaria, guys. Todo lo que haya, todo lo que haya en esta parte, todo lo que hay aquí es past o es after. Todos los numeritos, todos los minutos que tenemos de ese lado serían past o after. Y los del otro uh -huh. lado serían to, to mm -hmm. or before, right? Mm -hmm. De esa manera. Now, let's see. Good job. Now, let's see here. Ana Angelica, what time is it? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. What time is it? It's 22. Mm -hmm. Two. 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 Como que estamos cantando, right? Now, let's see. Uh, who else is here? Let's check. Yeah. All right. So, we have Evelyn. What time is it, Evelyn? It's uh, two. It's 20. 20? No. Uh -huh. Is... Ten two two is ten two two ten ten two two ten two two ah, okay Good. now let's check here let's go five with past. Roy what time is it it's five past two <laughs> It's quarter past two. Now, let's see. Huh? It's quarter past two. Okay, two. good. Now, let's see here. Ana Maribel, be ready. What time is it? Theory five huh? to three. Good. Now, let's see. Avelino, what time is it? It's 
A quarter to three. Okay, good. Now let's see who else is missing. Let me check. Yulandir, are you here? Hola. Yes. All right. What time is it? It's five before three. Okay, good. So now, guys, like that, así tal cual, vamos poniendo, en este caso, las horas, right? Y esta es una manera, yo sé que es la más complicada porque no lo utilizamos nosotros en español así, right? Pero también podemos decir, por ejemplo, en este caso, la hora. ¿De qué otra manera podría ser? Aparte de decir, it's five, two, three. ¿Cuál tres, sería la otra? Tres cincuenta y cinco. Tres cincuenta y cinco. Are you sure? No. It's, it's uh, <laughs> two. <laughs> uh, five. Okay. Two. <laughs> yeah. It's, mm, it's two. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. Five. 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 Good. So now let's practice. ¿Creen que ya quedó claro o practicamos sí, mal? Solo, solo preguntar. Entonces, ¿es 50, it's 50, 50 before 2? 50? Ajá. 55 before 2? Eh, no, eh, en anterior. Que era 55. O sea, las 2.55. Ah, es así. Es it's, 5, it's 55 ¿Ah? before 2? No, no. ¿Tú no? no. ¿Sería? It's 55 past. Podemos decir. Past no, en past este no caso. Puede ser porque pase del otro lado. Ah, en mm. este caso, ¿cuál yeah. podemos usar? It's. It's, it's, it's one, two, three. It's. Porque son, estamos diciendo. Two, five, two, three. Two, five, two, three. Ajá, ok. Sí, y eso me queda claro. Y la otra. It's. It's two, fifty, five. Uh -huh. Ah, it's 2.55. Ok, ok. Eso, ah, eso. Es o sea, ah, entonces dos. en este decimos la hora primero y después decimos, decimos los minutos. Ajá, en este caso así como la leemos en digital, ¿verdad? Right? Y ahí no, la hora y no, y y ahí no ah. ponemos ni, ni tú, ni before, ni nada de eso. Uh -huh. Solo ah. la hora primero y al final los minutos. Aquí ah. usted lo que puede hacer ah, es okay. recalcar que se refiere a minutos diciendo... It's 2.55 with, yes. puede decir with, por ejemplo, con 55 ah. minutos, with 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. Pero es la forma que no se usa, no es común. ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Para nosotros en el español sí es común, sí. pero en el inglés es más común la otra. Ajá. It's 5.53. Okay. En, en el español sí se usa, más o menos, ¿no? pero, eh, pero en inglés casi no lo utilizan. Ya, yeah, estamos al revés en, la, en, en el caso de las horas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, in this case, let's see. All right. Another question about this? ¿Alguna otra duda que tengan sobre esto, guys? ¿O ya está claro? Yeah. Super claro. Okay, let's practice then. All right. So you tell me the time in the Spanish. Three o'clock, what time is it? Three o'clock. Yeah. It's five o'clock. Three o'clock. Quarter past five. Quarter past five? What time is it? El de en medio. Between. Quarter past five? Are you sure? The three. Ah, the no, three. no, no. El, el three, three. Okay. Three. Sería cinco y? Cinco y quince. Ajá. Cinco y cuarto, cinco y quince. Nine. Not this one. Nine o'clock? Good. It's now, quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Option one. Number one. Okay, good. One. Quarter past eleven. 
Water past 11? Option one. Yes. Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay, good. Good. good job. It's half past seven. seven. Half past seven? Center. Option one. one. Number three. Number one. Option one. Number one. three. <laughs> Number that's a six. The left. It's the left. Seven. Oh, Number two. 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 Twelve. Half past twelve. I see the fear. Option two. 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 In Spanish, two. half past twelve. What time? Two. 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 Ten. Quarter to ten. Two. Option one. Option two. 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 Option two. 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 The next one, I know that was the last one. Awesome! You did amazing, guys. So now, te voy a dejar un reto. Pongan en el celular el, el de las rectas, ¿ok? El de los palitos. <laughs> practice. <laughs> All right. And now, let's see. Uh, no. Here. Okay. And now, let's go to the platform. Vamos a hacer el ejercicio de la plataforma. El what time is it? So now, vamos a ir al... Let me share. We go to the 5.4. The knowledge check. Entonces tenemos que elegir, right? So in this case, si se fijan, aquí sí está. Por ejemplo, tenemos el 20 after 2. ¿Qué sería? 20 after 2. Past. 20 después uh -huh. de las 2. Y el, it's 2.20. 20. 20. Ah, las 2. 2 y 20. Las 2. Como hablamos, right? Podemos tenerlo. Tiene las tres formas. Uh -huh. de, las, de las dos maneras, right? Now, in this case, what time is it? We have, it's 10 to 7. It's 10, 10, 10 to 7. 10, 10 to 7. 10 to 7. <laughs> okay. 10 to 7. Good. Now, this one. What time is it? It's correct to water. Water. Tonight. It's correct tonight. Water tonight. Now, this one. What time is it? 
It's five teacher. past teacher. eleven. Teacher, pero la consulta creo que en este permite dos opciones. Five. Ah, okay. Son dos posibles. And then number three. Ajá, oh, no, es que todo el ejercicio creo que puede, se pueden elegir dos, 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 si no me equivoco. Sí. Ah, ok. Ah, ah, dos. Eh, okay. Yo Entonces, me quebré la cabeza ver. con ese. <risa> ok, no me aceptaba eso? solo una. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, en este caso tenemos, it's 10 to 6. ¿Cuál seven, es la seven. otra que aplica? Eh, it's 25. Uh, it's 6.50. It's 6.50. It's 6.50. Ah, six, 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 en ese five, cuando five. decimos o oh, uh, es porque cuando nosotros nos aprendemos los números y esto pasa mucho en las horas y las fechas por ejemplo si yo tengo like this mm -hmm. cuando yo tengo esos ceros, si están dentro, yo tengo la, la, los dígitos, right? Si en medio de esos dígitos hay ceros que están en medio, eso yo los puedo pronunciar como la letra O. ¿eh? Aunque son ceros, pero yo puedo decir O. Aparte de decir zero, por eso si se fijan aquí, dice O. Porque lo puedo decir de las dos maneras. Este O. Ese O que aparece ahí, ajá, es porque se lee también como que fuera la letra O, aunque es un cero, right? Pero usualmente en, en teléfono, cuando usted escucha que dictan números de teléfono, o cuando hay dígitos, oh. por ejemplo, en este caso, ¿cómo digo yo esta fecha? Lo común es partimos en dos. Por ejemplo, aquí digo 20, 20. y luego... O Lo común es eso, es decir, O8, como que fuera una letra, aunque es el número, right? Pero si lo queremos decir tal cual, como decimos el cero, decimos zero. Zero. Uh -huh. zero. zero eight. Pero no es tan común. Zero. Si ustedes le ponen atención en canciones, películas, se van a fijar que dicen O. Oh. Y oh. ese O oh se refiere al cero, ¿ok? Entonces, para que en situaciones como esta lo tomen en cuenta. Por ejemplo, aquí, aquí se lo voy a marcar. El 1105 se refiere que es 05, porque son 5 minutos. Right? Teacher, Entonces, like una that. consulta. Chame. Y cuando ¿Ah? se trabaja con decimales, si se dice zero, porque va al inicio. Si va al inicio, sí. Tiene que decir zero, porque si no se puede confundir. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Entonces ahí sí. Por ejemplo, 0.4, 0.5. Exactly. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Aquí lo decimos el low porque tenemos el 11 antes. Entonces, lo, para no confundir el que es el número 0, right, lo decimos solo si está en uh -huh. medio de la cifra. Si está al inicio o al final, decimos 0. Uh -huh. Y eso pasa con los números de teléfono también. Uh -huh. okay. All right, good question. And now let's go here. So what time is it? It's a quarter past three. past three. It's past three. And the other? It's three. It's three. It's three. It's three. It's three. It's Now this one, what time is it? It's how... It's half past four. four. Okay. And the other one? It's 4.30. It's 4.30. Good. 4.30. Let's see. Four awesome. Good. You got a 10. So now, let's go here. Let me see. Okay. So now we have a practice. Yo creería que ya con eso ya nos quedó super claro, right? A second time. Now, let's go here and we have a practice about intonation. So pay attention and let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. 
Let's quasi Let's alert. get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, so for this one, we have a homework. ¿Cuál es nuestra tarea de rising and falling intonation? Verificar. Fine. Por ejemplo, si usted tiene una serie que le gusta o una película, escuche cuando tenemos eh, preguntas de yes and no. En este caso tenemos acá las primeras, right? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Entonces, usualmente estas tienen una entonación más elevada, right? Y las otras... <coughs> ah, sorry. Y las otras, las que van con WH, ¿qué sucede? Con la intonación. La intonación baja al final. Ajá, no o es tan... Ajá, no es tan... No, eh, pronunciada. No es tan alta, ajá, como la del yes or no. Entonces, fíjese usted, en una película o en una serie que a usted le guste, cuando hacen con what, o con where, o con why, con cualquiera de las WH, para que usted corrobore si sí, en, eh, en efecto baja la entonación al final de este tipo de preguntas o sube, right? Para que usted pueda escucharlo en, en, en la vida real, okay? And now, let's go here. In general, we can... Okay, let's go now to this one. This is 5.6, no, this one. Ok, vamos a ver en este caso ya en el ejercicio si la intonation va. Cuando decimos falling es cayendo, right? Falling. Y si digo rising, va subiendo. Ajá, subiendo, right? Ok, so now pay attention to this one. Vamos a escuchar para verificar si es falling o rising. One. Are you wearing a coat? It's rising. Okay, let's see. Are you wearing a coat? Rising or falling? It's rising. Okay. Rising. Now, the next one, number two. Two. What are you doing now? It's uh -huh. falling. What are you doing now? Okay. It's falling. 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 Number three. Three. What time is it? It's mm -hmm. falling. Four. Okay. Is it midnight? It's racing. Five. Racing. What color is his t-shirt? 
Rising. 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 Falling. Si digo racing, eso es criando. Race. So, ah, rising. 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 Okay. Rising. rising. <laughs> Now, the next one. Six. Uy, Are cool you from sound. Thailand? Sorry. So, the next one. Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Five. Rising. Five. What color is his t shirt? It's falling. 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 Are you from Thailand? Are you yeah. from Thailand? It's rising. 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 rising, right. Okay, let's check. Awesome. You did good. And now we have some exercises so we can finish the topic about the questions. And let's see. Vamos a verificar, guys. In this case, with the WH, okay, tenemos aquí unas con el present continuous, so let's go. You have to select what is the correct answer. And we have the number one. Hola. What are you doing? I am, I am singing. I am swimming. Singing. Oh, I am dancing. I am singing. I am singing. Okay. Yes, Good. Singing. 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 What are they doing? They are playing. They are playing. playing. They are playing. They are playing. Football. Football tennis. Football. 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 Soccer. What is she doing? He's running. 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 What is he doing? He is He's reading. 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 Good job. What are you doing? I am sleeping. I am sleeping. 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 What is the cat doing? <laughs> it, it is swimming. swimming. It is swimming. It is swimming. <laughs> is it not flying? No, all right. It's swimming. It's not the cat right? <laughs> What are they doing? They are? They are playing, playing, playing video, video, video games. Video games. Okay. Video games. Okay. What is she doing? She is drinking. 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 What's happening? The boy is crying. 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 What is screaming? Is Asustado. Asustado. Mm. Are you sure? Crying. Screaming? No es gritar. Yes. Llorando. Gritando. Ah. Uh -huh. Llorando o crying? Llorando. Crying. Good. Now, let's see. The last one. What's happening? Baby. We are, you are, yeah. we are learning. We are learning. Huh? We are learning. learning. We are learning English. Awesome. Good job. And now, let's see here. Quiero ver si habíamos hecho toda la knowledge check. And yeah, right. Yep. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. And this is the last exercise so we can practice. And now, in this case, we have present continuous and WH. Vamos a hacer la práctica, guys. So now let's go here. This one. Okay, so we have the number one. What time you go to the cinema? Si la quiero hacer en present progressive, ¿cómo la transformo? What time? Y luego? What time? time? Going. 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 So let's see. Going, 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 going to the ah, cinema. what time? 
are you going to the cinema? Are going? No, you. The cinema. Ah, you. you. What time are you going? I'm going to the, the cinema. cinema. I'm going to cinema. And question mark. Okay. And now this one, number two. Why you study? What are you studying? Why are you studying? Why are you studying? Studying. How do you write study? Study. Okay, lo mandan ahorita en el chat, aquí en el Zoom chat, studying, en el ING, vamos a ver cómo se transforma, let's see. Vamos al chat, studying. En el ING, let's go, let's go. Vamos a ver si nos acordamos. Porque es la regla que tiene en W, X, Y, N, C, K. Awesome. Studying. Good job. And at the end, the question mark. Si no escribimos question mark, wrong. Good. Yes, ya vi que si se acuerdan. Good job. Now this one. Vamos a ver. When you when live. When are you living? When are you living? Are you, are you, are you living? Living. So now, envíenme en el chat. Living. ¿Cómo se escribe living? Let's go in the chat, in the Zoom chat. Let's go, let's go. Vamos a ver si nos acordamos. Let's see, let's see. Awesome. Good job. Question mark, question mark. Living and question mark. Good job. Awesome. Now, number four. You smoke. smoke. You are smoking. Are you smoking? Are you smoking? Are you smoking? Are you smoking? In the chat. Let's go, let's go. Smoking. Good. Good job. Smoking. Good. And at the end, question mark. Are you smoking? Okay, good. Now, number five, he plays play tennis later. later. He plays tennis later. Awesome. Is he playing play play tennis, tennis, tennis later? Tennis later. Question mark. Yeah. Good job. Okay, amazing. So now, vamos a ir uno por uno. Let's see. So, Roy, number six, Roy. Huh? Are, you, are you going shopping at the weekend? Are you going shopping? Shopping at the weekend. And at the end? Question mark, right? Question mark. She said, Question mark. Mark. It's wrong. Question. Okay. Question mark. Si se quedó. Ah, yeah. Good. So now let's go here, Annie. Number Hi. seven. Let's go. Are you drinking are you, wine? Are you, ah, are you drinking wine? Wine, mark, uh, question mark. Question mark, good. Now, let's go here. Evelyn, eight. Huh? Where are you? What? Where do, what are you? Are you? Uh -huh. Drinking, 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 what are you doing? Nine. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? And at the end? Y el signo de interrogación. In English? 
¿Qué es lo que estás pensando tú? Algo así. ¿Qué piensas? ¿Cómo se dice signo de interrogación en inglés? Question. ¿Cuál es la regla, guys, para el coming? Se quita la E. Y, la e. Y, la e. Y, ¿Y puedo duplicar? Sí. Yes. No. No. ¿Por qué no? no? Porque no es una sola sílaba. Ah. Ah. Vocal, consonante, consonante vocal. vocal. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Solo termina con E, right? ¿Y los que terminan con E? Okay, be careful. Okay, what time is she coming? Question and at mark. the end, question mark. Awesome. Question mark. Dígame, Ana. Sí, este, me, me difícil la pronunciación, por ejemplo, de esto, cuando es el ING con la I, I con la Y. Ah, studying. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso okay. es la pronunciación. Studying. Vamos a ver. Let's go. Studying. Aquí tenemos el study. 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 Está bien arriba. Haz de suerte. Ok. Decimos algo así como está. Pero ese ah. e, esa S no decimos es, sino que está. 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 Bien. Sí, bien. Está bien. Pero ese, ese yin no es pronunciado como yin, right? Sino que está bien. Está bien. Yes? Permitan conmigo, está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Otra palabra que sea parecida. Uh, flying. Todas las que tenemos con guay. Ajá. Flying <risa> también. Fla, uy, flying. Flying. Uh, drying. 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 Play. Playing. 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 Y otra. Thanks. Try de freír. Try, trying. Trying. Uy. Le puse al revés. Trying. 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 Es como ese yin, 
pero no, le, no lo va a hacer tan fuerte ese yin, ¿eh? sino que es un poquito más suave. Flying, drying, playing, frying, studying. Playing, frying, drying, yes. flying, studying, flying, studying. Trying, playing, trying, 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 Daniela, 13. Where are you Where? Where are you playing? Where are you playing tennis? Play. 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 Tennis. Tennis tonight. Tonight. And at the end? Question mark. Question mark. Good. Now, 14. Let's go here. Uh, no se falta. Noemi, right? Noemi, you, you meet are. your friends on Friday. Are you, you, meet? you are meet, meeting? You are? are? Like that? Are you? Are you? Are you, you meet? Are you meeting? Que no se les olvide, burpees. Siempre le han hecho pregunta. Are you? Are you meeting? Meeting? Your friends on Friday? Friday. On Friday. 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 And at the end? Yeah. Podrías escribirse también with your friends. With. Ah, pregunto. Are okay. you meeting with your friends on Friday? Ah, yeah. Sure. Estaría mal escrito. Ah, no, no. It's good. Ajá, con tus amigos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Okay. 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 En este caso dice, are you meeting your friends? Está bien, estás encontrándote con tus amigos el, el, el viernes. El viernes, viernes. Y el with sería con tus amigos. Esa sería la diferencia. So it's good. Now this one, 15, Mirna, Selena. You uh, read now. Huh? Are you reading now? Reading now, good. And at the end? ¿Qué es lo que lleva al final? Question mark. <laughs> question mark. Question mark. Okay, good. Don't forget question, question mark. mark. Now, let's see. Annie, 16. Where? Um, are you? No. Where are you going now? Going. Going. Question mark. Now, now, eh? Question. Awesome. So, guys, no me acuerdo que era. Ok, so like that, right? Ya creo que ya nos quedó súper claro la hora. Las questions with the ING. So good. And now, guys, don't forget. Solo nos quedan dos clases, ok? Ya casi estamos en vacaciones. So, please stay here. Los espero mañana, pasado mañana, que para explicar, ok, participamos y después ya nos quedamos en la vacación, ok. So, los espero mañana, guys. Have an amazing night tonight. Ok, bye bye. See you. Good night. 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 Good